Hi there, I'm Rick, creator of Revelation Skirmish, which is a destructive combined arms miniatures game that you can 3D print from home. In this video, I'm gonna be assembling a Core Republic Sierra War Mech miniature. You can purchase this model from our site. Link is in the description below. Now, this version of the Sierra is a kit made up of 12 different parts plus the medium or 50 millimeter War Mech base. And as in all of our videos, we try to really point out that if you ever see notches and revelation skirmish in the base, those indicate the rear arc. So that way you always make sure you've got it assembled exactly how you intend to. Now with the Sierra here, it's kind of divided up into a variety of different parts with the torso, the thruster pack or jumper pack with one of the thruster nozzles that goes there into the center cavity, the missile launcher, which will go into the left shoulder, the pelvis with the right and left legs, and then we have the right and left upper arms with a right and left lower arm, and in this instance, the left lower arm is also going to have the hand separated. We decided to do it this way for this particular kit because it, when you're done and it's all assembled, the hope is it is as optimized as possible to look the best as possible for you and your gaming needs. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and start with is something a little bit different. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Zappa Gap Super Glue. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue in the thruster here to the jumper pack. So that way that's kind of already taken care of and has time to dry as we're assembling. Because this war mech is not gonna be jumping or isn't in a pose where it's landed or anything like that, I just want the thruster to kind of just be aimed in a very you know generic, just kind of down-ish form. So we'll go ahead and have that set aside for right now. And let's go ahead and start working on the legs with the pelvis. So just to point out, so that way everyone assembles this to the, the correct way. If you see this rectangular or vertical panel or the kind of the point of the pelvis, that indicates the front direction. If you see the square, that's gonna be the rear angle of the pelvis. So we got the left and the right legs here. Both of these, well, actually, the left leg, when we're all said and done, I'm gonna go ahead and set these up over here later. For this model, the left leg is going to completely be flat on the ground while the right leg is going to have the front two toes. The back toe is going to be just floating in the air, so that way when you pose it um, and you're trying to set up the pelvis, you want to kind of decide how you want it to be. But as you can see, if I wanted to, I could get it to balance on its own. I don't want to do that, but you could do that as an option. So let's go ahead and put a slight amount of glue here onto the left side for the leg. I'm going to go ahead and plug this one in and I'm probably gonna have the leg kind of swing out a little bit just because I don't want it to be completely, you know, uh, kind of like in parade rest or anything. So then that way, we kind of already got that one in place. Now we'll go ahead and get a little bit of glue here onto the right side. And then I can kind of balance out the right foot so that I have it where the toe will be a little bit in the air like I'd like it to be. Get it somewhere, somewhere here. And as this continues to dry, I'm gonna just pick this up. We're gonna set this over to the side. So let's go ahead and start working on the torso while we let that finish, finish up curing. So the first thing we'll go ahead and do because we already got this already started, we're gonna put the jumper pack right into the back here. Don't need a ton of glue. It'll take the jumper pack and the large nozzle cavity is going to indicate the bottom of the jumper pack, so that way when I plug it in, I don't have it upside down or something like that. And while that's also going, we've got our missile launcher here. Now the weapons now for the Sierras, you plug them into the, um, the weapon mount, and then it, I can decide which angle I want the missile launcher to be in. So what I'm probably gonna do is wait until we get the torso glued onto the pelvis, and then that way I have that all set in the correct angle. So while we're waiting for that, we can jump over here. And you know, I don't really wanna do, I always, myself, it might seem like a, a small thing. I really feel that with the Warmex or with any real character that's kind of divided up into these this many parts, you really wanna to try to get the hands into the final position that you'd like. Because I feel for myself, the hand kind of helps sell the model. It helps sell whatever the uh, vibe that I was going for with the kit. Now, I think I'm gonna have the 
torso aiming a little bit more this direction. So we'll just kind of leave him like that and I'll have the torso turn this way. Maybe not quite that dramatic, maybe a little less. So while that's drying there, we can go ahead and put a little bit here. Start getting this torso put in place. And what I like to do is wherever the rear arc is, I like to have the head, or in this case with the, the Sierra, it doesn't have a head. It kind of just has a pretty much like a beak or a face profile. I like to have that aiming directly opposite of the rear arc. So if I knew I wanted to have, you know, the head looking this direction, I would just shift the feet so then that way the face continues to point opposite of the rear arc. It just makes it a little bit easier for me when I'm playing to know which direction um, I'm looking at with that particular model. Yeah, in Revelation Skirmish, the Warmex can shift, you know, angles and such pretty easily, but it's more of just a thing for me as the player to kind of have that already kind of built into what I have going on there. Now with the feet dried to the base, at least enough for us to be able to move forward, let's go ahead and glue on the missile launcher for the shoulder. And this one is gonna be angled a little bit like it's crossing over the torso, kind of like it's aiming a little bit over where the nose is, kind of coming in this direction. So then that way we can also kind of angle everything else as we're going forward. So let's do, so I guess the kind of the story in my mind as I'm assembling this is gonna be that this Sierra is kind of just like out and about, kind of looking for a target. Maybe it's on a, a patrol mission, or it's scouting, or it's just kind of navigating uh, some dense urban terrain. But I kind of, you know, have that narrative kind of in my head as we're moving forward. So then if I mess around here with the left arm, probably gonna want it, yeah, kind of angled out like that. So let's go ahead and glue this in. Add a little bit here. Not too much is the goal. A little bit here, the ball joint. I'm going to try to angle this out and down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and take the left hand a tiny bit. We don't need much on this. And I'm going to try to have it where the thumb is a little bit angled upward. I just think in this instance it'll add a little bit of character to him. And then for the right arm, I'm going to kind of just hold this, but it's kind of angled downward. want it necessarily aiming anywhere just more of just kind of just relaxed arm looking around for a target yeah so let's go for that so let's put a little bit of glue here right at the top of this plug that into the upper arm section I'm gonna bend the arm slightly in this instance, just for the way I want this one to be. Add a small amount here to the ball joint. Maybe a touch more. And we're gonna have this angled kind of like that. We don't really have a target, kind of looking around. All right, there we go. We got our Sierra all assembled and ready for the table. So thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to purchase this model, you can click the link in the description or you can go to our web store. Talk to you later.